So when you are evaluating which location to move to or to start up for your business, once you've narrowed down to a number of, to a handful of locations, there are a number of ways to evaluate those location alternatives. The first is locational break-even analysis, where we look at the cost to manufacture in those different locations. The transportation method adds in the cost to transport in addition to the cost to manufacture. In both of those cases, you can also look at maximizing profit by deducting those overall costs from the total revenue you would bring in. So the price or revenue per unit you make from selling it times the quantity you sell it for. The third method for choosing a location once you've narrowed it down is the factor rating method. In this case we are taking qualitative and quantitative factors and then using that to determine which location. The center of gravity method is what we use when we are determining a warehouse or distribution center and in that case what it does is have you calculate a weighted average based on overlaying a grid on top of a map. So you're minimizing the distance between uh, where your warehouse or distribution center is located versus where you're sending your product. The low distance technique is similar to that as well in terms of minimizing distance for a proposed distribution center. The difference between the center of gravity method and the low distance technique is the center of gravity method leaves open the option for your distribution center or warehouse to be anywhere. The low distance technique says I have two proposed locations and which one's the better one for minimizing the distance. What we want to look at now is what are called Voronoi polygons. Voronoi polygons are used to determine trade areas. So if you're trying to decide what your location should be when there's already competitors or maybe you even have another franchise located in the same town, how do you decide where to locate your new business? And so the way the Voronoi polygons work is essentially we overlay on top of your map an image like this. So notice when I click on it, it highlights everything here in purple. So this is saying since you have no competitors, you're the only dot on the map, then everywhere on that map is your customer base. Now if this is overlaid on top of a city map and we're McDonald's for example, maybe this dot represents the McDonald's we have created on the north end of town. And now you're trying to decide where you should put the second McDonald's within your city. Notice that if we put that second McDonald's on the south end of town, it has split the customer base. So everyone on the north end will go to the north McDonald's and everyone on the south end will go to the south McDonald's. If you add a McDonald's on the east side, pardon me, the west side, uh, you can see then how the customer base is been divvied up. What the Voronoi polygons do is they create a line that is equidistance between the two points. So notice this line that's separating these two colors here is equally between these two black dots. And as you add more locations, you're further divvying up your trade area in terms of customers in this region here on the east will all go to this east McDonald's. If they're in the west, they'll go to this west McDonald's. And you can see if you overlay this on top of a map, where the lines get drawn in terms of the cutoff for going to one location for another. So you can use this to determine uh, where you should put another McDonald's or Tim Hortons within your town or if you want to consider your competition. So for example if your McDonald's and the Burger King is on the south end by putting your McDonald's on the north end you are now tapping a market and separating the trade area. So those on the north end would go to you and on the south end would go to your competitor. And so it's a way to look at uh, your customer base and which location they would frequent when you have the same company or similar companies within a geographic area.